Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would tell you guys my Lueve wish list, but we're doing a very like casual version. I have my Sailor Mercury hoodie on and I'm going to pull it up on the desktop. I thought the more eye candy, the better. Maybe it'll give you guys like see things that you guys haven't seen before. So let's just dive straight into it. You guys got my subtle hints, but Lueve is definitely going to be dominating me in 2023. I feel like last year I was extra, extra obsessed with Celine, but this year is going to be like majority Lueve. Okay, so we're just going to dive into it. I'm going to start off with just SLGs. If you guys are in that boat that you guys are tired of SLGs, SLGs are a waste of money, well then fast forward out of this part because I'm a ride or die SLG gal. So I do definitely want a puzzle bag. SLG. Oh, they have the grain on this one, which is really cute. But I'm just gonna. So, you guys know that I actually really, really like this. But when I was on the website the other day, I actually saw that they have. I haven't seen this before. So, you guys know me. I really actually do want to add a long wallet into my collection. I just. I carry cash now just in case. Not a lot, but just in case. And this color combination I really like. Um, it didn't fully complete me just because I feel like it'd be too paranoid for this to get dirty. But initially, I I wanted the small card holder and then like this color mm, right up my alley i feel like this would go so well with my dior saddlebag but i think it's really cute 890 reasonable reasonable because i feel like a long canvas wallet from louis vuitton is around 800 and then this is calfskin so yeah like it's very slim which i like it has like usually the traditional like the zipper in the middle and the pockets this I just want a long wallet. Um, if Luevi is going to be my long wallet of the year, then it might just be. Next, uh, really quickly, I just want to show you guys that I do want to add a charm in my collection as well. I have one right now. I don't know if I'm going to be posting that before this or after this, most likely in a vlog, but oh my god, look at this. So the pig, the Luevi pig is literally my favorite thing in the world. I already customized the one that I want, but what's really cool is that you can make your own, like for example, so you would drag it and put it here. I feel like a lot of people don't know that you can do these like if you're new to Lueve, one of the beautiful things is that you can do a charm. I'm not gonna lie to you, the charm gets really expensive. Do you see the price point on this charm right now? But they just add kind of a little extra like personality to it. And yeah, obsessed, obsessed if you guys didn't know. Then let's just get straight into it, the bags. Realistically, the two number one bags for sure, if I, not if, I'm going to get a Lueve bag this year, uh, is going to be the hammock. I was so dead set on getting the hammock in the tan color. Oh, this one is actually actually so pretty oh wow this is stunning the grained see i liked grained calfskin but it's like for me on specific bags when i saw the grained calfskin in person i didn't really like it on the puzzle bag for me personally but on the hammock it's actually not bad this like baby light pastel green is actually really nice too it reminds me of that chanel bag that i really like but let me show you the exact one that i want so as you can see, there's so many variations. Like this one has the different shades of the browns, but the exact one I want is actually this one. So I want it in the classic calfskin, so it doesn't obviously have that pebbled effect. It's just like smooth, and this is in their signature tan color just because I want something signature tan from Lueve, and I feel like the hammock is the perfect perfect mechanism for that just i feel like when you first get into the wave and of course you hear about the puzzle bag and the hammock bag and a lot of people think that the hammock bag looks funny like if you look at this it looks really funny but genuinely you just have to see it enough on people and then try it on for yourself and you're like this is kind of awkward but i'm kind of digging it i know rosie from blackpink loves the hammock bags so this is close up you can see the leather one thing that for certain if you are new to lueve is the leather is so buttery soft it's actually insane back up though there were two other ones that i was thinking of just to give you guys some ideas so i actually really initially liked this tri-colored one where it's like tan on the straps and then kind of like this suede on the side and then this cream white i really really liked this one let me just give you some other shots of this color scheme like how beautiful does that look like i've oh my god it's so nice and then the other one was actually the jacquard mixed with the leather i really really liked this one i think this is just oh because you guys know me like i want it in tan but then with the jacquard i actually really love and adore this okay done with hammocks 
Now I'm gonna show you the Amazona is the other one that I'm really, really, really leaning towards. I actually now am going back and forth between the size 16 and the size 19. The size 16 is actually pretty small. Ooh, this green color is like brand spanking new. I have not seen this. This is really, really springy very very cute i really really like this color oh my gosh so this is the 16 one it's the smaller one um but you guys know i love avocado green i this bag has my heart and soul and then it comes with this jacquard strap now i believe yeah i believe it does and then Oh, it's so so cute. So the Amazonas the way that they work is they the numbers are the sizes So it's like the legs. So it's like 16 19 26 23 28 the tan one is really cute I've seen that one in person, but my other favorite one is the Jacquard ones, so I'm gonna do the bigger one just to show you guys the 19 I think if I were to get the bigger one I would get the navy black one but if i were to get the small one i would get the avocado so this is the 19 one it's 2800 dollars and look doesn't it kind of just give you dior oblique vibes but i like that i really really like this and it's weird though because the navy chicard looks it just usually i feel like a lot of people say that navy and black don't go well together but this looks amazing like it looks amazing together so yes so the amazona it's the next thing I want. I'm gonna fly right through these just because I know exactly what I want out of this. Okay, so the next bag that I want to add after, so the hammock and then the Amazona, and then you guys know me, it's the flamenco. But if I were to get the flamenco, I would get it in the bigger sizes. I know the flamenco is actually really popular in the mini sizes, but I would either get the large or the extra large for travel just because it's very low key and because it's also leather too, I don't have to worry about it as much yes okay so the extra large flamenco it's ginormous i saw this on display uh the last time that i went to lueve and it was huge like look look it literally probably takes half of her torso and her butt right but it's just so squidgy if you think this looks weird okay go into the lueve store run to the south coast plaza or the rodeo one try this on and you're gonna just be touching you're gonna be like oh my gosh this is so soft this is so squidgy it's it's like a part of me did actually want the Chanel 22. I'm not going to lie to you just because it's so easy. You could throw a bunch of stuff in here. So this is like a better quality version and a better price point than the Chanel 22, okay? Because I know the Chanel 22 and the brown was super, super, super popular. It's like that tweed navy blue one and then uh, the Chanel 22 and the beige. And of course, look, sold out, obviously. Why do we have such good taste, guys? What? For this one, I either want the tan or the like a dark green color i think would be really nice and then a lot of the selling points of the flamenco if you guys don't know is that you can pull the strings on the side and kind of turn it into like a wristlet but that one's more catered towards the smaller sizes but obviously you can do it for with the bigger sizes as well see this one is still just as big but it's not as big do you see even like it's just a smidge bit more squidgy so the vintage khaki is my personal favorite but the warm desert is also really really nice too and then i feel like the black like if you're just a black gal the black would is like a true if you know you know people probably wouldn't even know what kind of bag it is because the embossment in the corner right over here is just so small i love the green oh this would be an amazing travel bag i can't and then I would love for next summer to get a Lueve basket bag. If you guys, again, are new to Lueve, they're actually super famous for their basket bags. I know almost every single brand has their own like Raffia bag, like Prada, even Celine, but Lueve, and someone please correct me if I'm wrong if another brand started it, but I feel like Lueve really started the trend of the basket bag. Like they honed it in and then other people like kind of made their own twist to it. So the most popular one, if you guys don't know, it's like this one. I don't know why I said that's a word. This one. Uh, do you see like the shape of it? It's really nice. And then the price point is not bad. Like obviously a lot of, see, I feel like it can go both ways. I think like, oh, $550 for a Lueve bag, like nice. But then other people are like, um, $500 for a bag that's not completely leather, not nice. See, it's even low in stock. That's how you know it's popular. So this is the number one. Um, these ones are like newer styles. I feel like this one is more similar to the Prada Raffia bag. Very beach, beachy-esque, whereas the other ones could be like spring, summer, you know? My favorite, I actually did try on this one in store. Price point, not bad, like very deep doable is this one i think it's so cute it's 750 dollars i feel like the shape is just more me and i actually prefer the straps to be longer like right over here the straps are way longer 
whereas and just look like there's no obviously no pockets or anything it's just very clean i know the white one is really popular but lueve with the tan leather basket is more popular i know some people have this like elephant one that's very you gotta be really stylish to rock that um yeah let's see what else oh if any of you guys have ever tried lily candles let me know because celine has amazing candles yeah i'm kind of kind of getting into designer candles which is really stupid like it's so stupid my favorite candle brand is velu spa diptyque is out of my price range right now like i would rather spend on like skincare than get like a like a hundred dollar candle but i just love the aesthetic of these so if you guys have like a must have lueve candle please let me know i just truly just love the aesthetic of this it's stunning alrighty guys so we have come to the end of my wish list i tried to run through this really quick i know exactly what i want from lueve these are literally exactly what i want 10 out of 10 i'm not getting four bags uh next year that's not happening probably max will be three because it's like birthday christmas and then myself so yes let me know if there's anything on my wish list that you also have on your wish list next year i know if quite a few of you guys have the amazonas and you all recommend it to me <sighs> so i just i need it i need it i need it imagine i don't know if i'm gonna get the amazona first or the hammock it all depends because i am going to europe next year with my aunt and my mom so it all depends what i decide to save up for and buy then but that's going to be in the middle of the year so is there anything that is not on my wish list that you think that it's like i need to have from lueve for all of my little diehard lueve fans there like i see you i see you we're in this together okay all the people that said that they don't like lueve or it's not interesting I can't hear you. I can't. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Just need your company.